Hey everyone, this is Mark from Red Arrow Industries, and today I'm going to show you a really quick tip on how to swap a sequence that's non-drop frame to drop frame in a 29.97 project in Avid Media Composer. Drop frame accurately runs with real time, which is observed in this format as 29.97 frames a second, while non-drop frame will run at 30 frames a second. This forces your timing to be off by 0.03 frames every second. This may seem insignificant at first, but over time this can really mess up the timing of your cut. So I have this sequence that I want to have timed out to be exactly 10 minutes long. The colon on my duration timecode means that I'm currently in non-drop frame. I'm going to duplicate this sequence just to show you how much this can affect your timing. Go to the record monitor, right click, and select sequence report. Inside that window, select the starting timecode, then simply click the semicolon, which refers to drop frame, click apply, and close out of the window. You'll now notice that that sequence is 18 frames over that 10 minute mark, forcing me to go back into my edit and take out that time. So always make sure that one of the first things you do when starting a project is switching over to drop frame. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to find any of our other tutorials, go to our Facebook page, Red Arrow Industries, or go to our website at redarrowindustries.com.